Okay, what I'm attempting to show you is the first time ever this has been shown on television, on YouTube, as far as I know. Franklin Bell's in action. This is my Franklin Bell box. There's two stainless steel bowls with flat bottoms. And uh, then the charge comes from this pole. Let me turn on my other camera here and I'll show you. And uh, that pole goes approximately 23 feet in the air, plus there's three feet of wire on the top, so about 26 feet total. That brings the charges down into the box on this wire. And there's a ground wire, the whole box is grounded, and that ground wire right here is connected over to this pipe that goes down into the ground about two feet, so it's pretty well grounded. And uh, the amazing thing is, right now, there is a storm, and the storm is about 10 miles out to the northwest of me. It's headed south. It probably will stay just to the west of me, and it's pretty far away. I can hear, you know, faint rumbling of thunder occasionally now. Not raining here yet. Uh, storm, the core of it is good 10, maybe even 15 miles away where the heaviest rain is. Uh, and the nearest rain is 10 miles away. But if you look inside the box right now, and this is the peak, the first time ever shown on YouTube, Franklin Bell's in action. And there's enough charge in the atmosphere right now to get my little can to move between the two plates. So those two stainless steel plates are attracting the can. The can is getting charged by the pole and uh, it's starting to ring. Let's see if we can hear it. Now you can hear it. It's pretty faint right now. It's not really moving hard, but the fact that it's moving, the storm is 10 miles away is amazing to me. So anyway, I spent a long time on the uh, Franklin Bells. Let me turn this camera off. Uh, to get it going, and uh, there were several adjustments I had to make. First of all, the pendulum had to be long enough so that the charges don't have to do a lot of work to move the uh, can back and forth. So the top of the pendulum is up there. Ooh, there's some thunder. And the pole, I had to make several adjustments. Originally, I had like wire brush fanned out, thinking that was going to collect a lot of charges. That didn't work very well. It worked once, but not really well. And then I connected a whole bunch of copper on the top, thinking maybe if I put more copper up there, that'll work. That didn't work. <laughs> and every time I did this, I had to take down the pole, which is a chore. It's really a two-man job, and I had to do it by myself. But uh, I take down the pole, I reconfigure it, and I finally ended up with the configuration that, that works. And it's my brother who told me how to do it. He said, you just want a point, really, just a point. How about all the multiple points that I had? Isn't that going to be better? No, just one point. So anyway, my brother lives in California, and he's excited about this too. So first time ever, the Franklin Bells have been shown on YouTube, not connected to a high voltage power supply. That's cheating. Or Van de Graaff generator. That's cheating. This is running on pure atmospheric electricity, and it's going. And I showed it to you. There's the proof. Yes. Yeah. It works. It works. Franklin Bells are going off. The storm's pretty far away, but they're going back and forth like crazy. That's not wind. This charges.